my last video I talked about missing old YouTube and the idea of feeling nostalgic about old memories because you know what I feel quite nostalgic about the whole idea of you know old YouTube and something I didn't really mention um, or talked very briefly about was the fact that I was friends with some you know old YouTubers and it kind of coincides like old YouTubers in nostalgia um, for me at least you know it was probably like between the years of 2014 and 2017 and those memories are so fucking near and dear to me i don't really I've, I've never honestly talked about it i miss it so much i made so many friends that i'm just not friends with anymore i used to make youtube videos back then so i have like old videos of me doing stuff with people or i used to draw and make minecraft intros so i would you know i'll, I'll say it every like two months or so i accidentally watch like an old video like it'll pop up in my feed and i'll take give it a look and it'll remind me of all the stuff that i used to be a part of and enjoy and so i'll watch all my old videos and it'll literally nearly bring me to tears um because of all those people and how much i miss them and you know just the fact that we don't talk anymore i have tried to reach out to some um but you know what people have moved on with their lives and Maybe some of those people don't hold, like, you know, value these memories as much as I do. Um, because they probably are a little bit more content with their current situation. Um, I'm not too content with my current situation. So, obviously, that's where nostalgia comes from. Is It's a comparison of how your life used to be and how your life is now. So, so I totally understand, like, not, you know, completely being nostalgic. Um, but for me, it's like, I just miss the presence of those people. I miss the, the laughs we used to share. That's, and that's not to discredit the current stuff that's going on in my life and some stuff that's, you know, enjoyable and the laughs I'm having now, but it's just, it was such a different era for me. And I'm so nostalgic for it because I, it was like four years of my life when I was a super closeted person. Like, you know, I just was not outward going at school that much i was super awkward and this is this was like my social connection for me it was like these people online oh my god you jump scared me yeah so i'm like 12 13 14 all these online people at the time are all of my real friends i literally i literally spent so many fucking hours i'd come home from school and just sit down and game with these people um if you're fucking out there What's his name? I, 2013 Duck Man. Yep, that's that guy. That's I think that was like the first fucking guy I met online. We were like the same age. We both like to draw. Holy shit, so funny. Um, and the second friend, Spire. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm so nostalgic for those memories and and yeah, and you know I was. A funny thing is that if you know the Call Me Carson group is I was friends with C Scoop. Um, fucking love that guy. I remember I was a little, I think I was on the younger side. He was a little older than me. And so I'm sure he thought I was a cringy little kid, but I do remember a few gaming nights. I feel like we played CS a few times. I honestly don't have the best memory, so I can't remember these, you know, so specific. Um... But like, I, you know what? I miss all these people. I, I miss them and I don't talk to them and I'm nostalgic about it. I'm nostalgic about the good memories we shared because I don't even have contact with 90% of them anymore. So it just feels like a situation of like what could have been. You know what I mean? I feel like with a lot of friends that you have in person, you get closure or something. With these people, it's just like they're online friends that I grew out of and then just have never talked to since. And it feels like a lot of, you know, what could have been friendships, you know? I don't want to be like a weird kind of guy from their past that reaches out, but I do miss them, and I miss the fucking laughs we shared. Hell, I remember fucking going to VidCon and staying at a house with fucking Dave and a few other guys, and fucking just all of those guys, that whole group back then, and I was fucking like, how old was I, 15 or 16? Like, <laughs> uh, it was so much fucking fun. Especially like why all these fucking, why all these memories are so dear to me is um, my friend Spire. I think I mentioned him. Um, I, 
I honestly, I, I would like to bring him up here. Just, I know it's, it's kind of a heavy subject, but I literally have no one to talk about it with. So this kind of, I mean, Hey, if you clicked on this video, then you're empathizing with me and may, maybe you want to listen, you know, um, maybe you have feelings of nostalgia. So, but yeah, my friend Spire, who I remember back in the day was called the golden gladiator MC. Um, he's probably like a two years older than me, but I just, I remember literally he was the friend. He was like my fucking best friend for like two years. And this is like when I was super insecure and just shy at school and didn't have any really close people to me. And, um, I remember he lived in Alaska and um, we would just spend fucking hours hours every day fucking talking to each other just he was my best fucking friend yeah he was just he was awesome i would just spend hours talking to him and i remember um anytime he'd be sad or something he would he would text me because i don't think he had good enough service to like call or something because like we didn't have phones back in the day it was like discord or it was skype it was skype and he'd go to his lake spot and he'd send me a picture of like just how beautiful it was like out in the forest there was just like he said it was like a mini hike and he would go out there anytime he was sad and um, yeah i'm honestly not even sure how but he tried to uh take his life a few times and i was there for him and um i remember one time it was really bad to the point where i didn't hear from him for like six months and um he called me from like a correctional facility or whatever you know a rehab facility for not for like you know addicts or anything but for mentally you know unhealthy people he told me like hey man like yep i just he told me what happened and uh and i felt awful for him and i was like bro like we should fucking like please tell me when you're back from the facility like because he could only call me every so like now and then and he would call me and we would talk sometimes because he only had, he had like it was like one of those like jail phones where like they could only call you for you know for a little bit and they could only call you every so often like they couldn't do it all the time so i was like yeah man just call me whenever like i will pick up and then i just remember that the phone calls just kind of stopped and i just kind of stopped getting them he uh yeah apparently i find out on fucking facebook later when i'm trying to get in contact with him on his fucking page it was an in memoriam so yeah i don't know what happened but yeah i he passed and it just kind of adds to the whole nostalgia of that that kind of that kind of time in my life because what could our friendship have been between me and spire you know what could it have been because he was my best friend and and then he was just gone um it kind of adds to the whole just realm of what could those friendships have been what could that time have been if i kept going and um, I kept making YouTube videos and kept being friends with those people. For him, it's like, what could it have been if he didn't die, you know? And it adds to the nostalgia and it, it makes me just get caught up every time that I see one of those old ones and I go back and watch all my old videos because he partly was the reason that, you know, I started making videos in the first place because he wanted to. And, but that's the thing, right? Is this is kind of the point of the video is I'm caught up and... But that's why, um, you know, nostalgia can be such a demon as people get caught up in it. They forget to live their life. And right. We forget to live our fucking lives that we're still so busy thinking about past things that have already happened. It comes from the Greek words nostos and allegos, which is return and pain. So nostalgia is not not actually a good feeling to have. You know, it's okay to think about the past and miss it a little bit, but to to get caught up, I think, to get caught up and let it weigh down on your life is not to be, it, it, it's, it's not healthy. It's not good. Um, I think the relationship you're supposed to have with past memories are not supposed to be one of nostalgia. I don't think you're supposed to feel pain you know what i had look at this poop house i love it so much it's such a little poop house it's so cute i think the relationship we're supposed to have with <laughs> the relationship we're supposed to have with our past i don't think is supposed to be from a sense of nostalgia 
I honestly believe it to be a, it should be a sense of motivation that the reason I'm feeling this way about, you know, my friend who passed away or the friendships that have moved on and people that have moved on, um, it should be inspirational and I should look forward to the future because if I was young and those relationships were that important to me, imagine how it's going to be when, or when I share more experiences with my best friends now, like when I, when I, when I did this, I'm feeling nostalgic about time periods in my life, being excited for, oh, what kind of, you know, what kind of videos can I make with my friends? What kind of I, things can I do with them? What kind of fun shit can I do with my fucking friends? What kind of dope ass fucking places can we go together? What kind of dinners can we share? What kind of, you know what I mean? What kind of laughs can we make together? What kind of dope ass shit like that can happen when I'm in the presence with them? Like instead of thinking, oh, what could have been with that friend in the past? What if, start thinking about now. Start thinking about like, what if your friend died today? Wouldn't you think the same? Oh, what could have been? So start filling that feeling with the people that are alive today. <coughs> Show them that that feeling of what could have been. Show them that feeling of, I want to spend time with you. I want to experience things with you. I want to, what, little bunny? I want to do stuff with you. And, um... And I guess that in all sense it is too. Like if you miss a certain time period, find other people that miss that certain time period and maybe join a community. And then instead of just completely being sad about it, be happy about that, the fact that that happens. Think about it. Like the fact that you even have nostalgia, the fact that you even miss that person or miss that era means you loved it so much that you, you, the fact that like, don't think about it, that it sucks that you miss them. It's you get the chance to miss them. You get the chance to feel that way because you cared about it so deeply. Like, how fucking beautiful is that? Instead of, oh, what could have happened with them? Like, thank you. I will continue to build lasting friendships with the people I'm surrounded by now. I honestly don't get the chance to talk to anyone about that that much because it's a sensitive topic. And, you know, I don't really know how to just randomly talk about that with somebody because, you know, how do you just lead into that? Thanks. Um, tell someone you care about them. Reach out to an old friend and say what's up. Reach out to a current friend and tell them you care about them. Or, you know what? If you're not, if you're too embarrassed for that, just try to spend some time with people. It's okay to feel nostalgic, but don't let it consume you. I'll catch you later. Appreciate it. Bye.